Well, with those guys defeated, now we can actually go to the right side because, well, okay, one door on the right side. But we'll be going to the other door soon enough. Soon enough. Of course, I went and I created my items. And as you can see, we're back in the dragon's graveyard. Of course, enemies here are pretty much like the same ones you've been fighting in this area as well. And of course, if you haven't caught on, even, at, even if you didn't hear me say it was a boss rush. Now the crown pot, of course that is for Muppy. If you didn't hear me talking about it being a boss rush, yeah, it's pretty much we're going to the highlights for Levain's memories or heart, or whatever you want to call it. This is, is the heart's prison. And these items you don't need, definitely not 1,200 coal at this point. That's just insulting. I mean, at least to heal all I can actually use. Let's avoid these guys. And as I said, I went back and I made the items. I improved my character's grow book. Well, as much as I can. And... Of course, got a couple of new abilities. I'll be sh probably showing them off. Avoid these guys and just climb up here to get this item up here. Ah, oh, some more hill loss. And yeah, there was only one weapon in this particular area. Well, in this particular section. Oh, wow, what a surprise. We have to fight the Grand Wing Drake. Of course, you probably should have Vayne in the front due to the fact that he has Dragon's Lair. Or well, at least in the part yet. And he is pretty much the same as he always is. Lots of fire attacks. Nullifies everything. Dragon type. Not back. Just more hit points. Long time no see. And of course he has three uh, thirty-eight thousand two hundred and seventy-five hit points. And the reason why he the reason why I say that Tony Renee are the hardest battles because of the fact that there's more than one of them. The That's pretty much the only the reason is the harder one is because there's more than one. Everybody else is only a single creature. Uh, let's start showing off some stuff here. Uh, a lot of blank room. Let the We're gonna use Judgment now, because I'm gonna start filling up this right, with a lot of <laughs> with a lot of time cards. There's just not mag attack, and it's the reason why I didn't bring. I brought Anna in because she can reduce damage from elements, of course, with her barrier. And since he does a lot of multi-hitting, I decided to use Muppy instead of Pamela. Yeah, I forgot that he nullifies everything. I will you. But I did kind of need a hit to get Anna in. And also, she's really good at dealing with people who have one or like the single enemies. As you can see with her multi-strike. And right here, I was trying to figure out which, trying to show off one of the abilities that I remember that I thought was cool, but I forgot sh to show you guys. And here it is, the double up ability. The, it's not very strong. It's where you can select where you're going to show up. Come. And between that time, she's invincible. Because you can't hear her. Which is not to him. sort of nice for setting up things. Definitely if you do it, if you set up right before Let's the enemy hits, or right after he does it. If you know he's going to try something really devastating. No caring. Of course, as I say, use a lot of fire attacks. If you really want to be concerned, you can just clip everyone with fires of hell. But I don't because I don't care. <laughs> this is my justice! Alright. I probably should. I probably should have used 
Ryan and Charles before I do that. I use this. And this should be Problem is, there's only one hit. And by this time, hey, I got better tanks anyway. I just wanted to show that one off. That power, I will seal it. All right, so let's get back down to business. I definitely like using judgment because you can see it does two hits per drop, and is also the most powerful when it does it. And let's get some dancing blades. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Now, fight me. Do not get in my way. Here I go. And here. Everyone, please. I probably should have done blade chaos. This is it. Eh, eh. I don't care about I'm your fire attack. As you see, I haven't actually put AP into this. his actual abilities because they're all fire ones. I will support you. Well, most of them are fire ones. Concentrate your mind. And it makes a lot more sense to put it into his stats because he's mostly a defensive character. Let's get this over with. All right, let's uh, put in some. Hmm. Yeah, let's use Chaos of Ocean. Don't interfere. And if you notice that my AP, um, I'm sorry, my SP values were lower, that's because I actually went back and spread the, had the rumor that it lowers your consumption by 10%. I forgot to do it in the f previous battle. Oops. No one can stop this Pretty much any decent rumor you want to have going on. There's no, it doesn't make a big difference. It's just a, this is one of my favorite ones. It's just my preferred one. You have ones to increase your attack and you know, as I said, in threat I have listening with that's what. One last push. Oh uh, let's see. If we want so let's see if we can knock it back a little bit. And we'll just go for the favorable strike. Do not get in my way. Because I got all my good attackers out. This is it. Okay, now he's building up Grand Rain. Yeah, this is probably one of the times I probably should have had Anna use her ability, but I think I care just because of these build with it. Fear. And I got Muffy set up just to be able to take the hit. I'm, I'm ready, ready. time now. <laughs> Break up justice. Ooh. Okay, she can still do that one though. You will not be able to see my moves. And this character is getting low on. And Flare Ray, he can take that. As I said, when they change out. Just automatically kicks in. Also, by this time, you yeah, should be in the to... area where characters get a special passive oh, ability. This. Each one gets a unique one. I can switch. And I'll and I will have those in the same place I have the final. The final equipment I have for everybody. Do not get in my way. Everyone, please. So when you see that in the description, that's that's what that is. This is it. Some of them, some of them aren't really useful now, but they become useful for new game, for new game plus. Let's get this over with. Don't interfere. And pretty much I'm going for a good rotation of you know getting Vayne to do a good hit and switching out Vayne. But now that we killed him, it doesn't really matter as much. Huh, and that? if you really want to do some AP building, you could just 
give everyone philosopher hands as well. Yes, thanks, Roxas. You're catching on. Oh, come on, Nikki. Don't, don't, don't hurt my feelings like that. We're not going to be walking much of anywhere, but, well, as I said, we're going to rinse and repeat, make the items that we just acquired, which is only really one, and come back and go on to the next section. Well, let's see who's behind door number three. Oh yeah, we're back in the Mama Ruins. Oh, you know who's gonna be down here. And we still got, well, of course, some more weapons to acquire. Let's jump up, <laughs> jump of you. Type Solomon, that is for Roxas. And we'll go around this way first. Hellclaw. Of course, Pamela. And last, but of course not least. The Sword of Anna. So let's get down here and get to work. And there's nothing down the other way, so... And there's nothing here, let's just go around these guys. And we'll be getting to our next spell in a moment. It's time for this one! That crystal is... Just as I thought. What are you just as I thoughting about now? We don't know the exact moment when the manor escaped the crystal. The only one who saw it was Vane. But I don't remember that clearly either. Those we've been fighting, they're enemies from your memory. Am I right? Yeah. Bane's memory? How does knowing this help our situation? Well... You rely too much on your logic. We must defeat the enemy in front of us. That's it. <sighs> Sometimes I envy your simplicity. Human revenge. Well, it seems that the lovely ladies are back, and as I said, I show Pamela and my starting partner for a reason. Of course, they have a nullify everything, spirit type, 33,845 hit points, nullifies my and physical attacks respectively for each one, and of course, they also have a poison tag, SP damage, and heaven's game. And of course, there's tags that they have before. Now, here's where the fun part happens. Let's go to having fun and seeker. Or as I like to call it, sleep, fuck yo traits. That's right, it eliminates all enemy sleep, traits. All right. Of course, that means they, they're not a spirit type anymore, but it also means that they're not, and they have no, they have regular resistance to physical and mind attacks. So that changing up shit doesn't help them. 
That's right, they are just a like blank slate enemies. Oh yeah, they also have Transposition, which is much like Grand Green Drake's ability. Yeah, that's actually the first time I actually ever had them do that to me. So it threw me off when they did that. <laughs> and also, I was corrected by one of my watchers. It doesn't act, their name doesn't mean two worlds, it means two moons. Well, that's what I get for using Battlefish. Let's just say that. Okay. And said, now pretty much this battle is that whole big thing about them switching. Yeah, we pretty much made that no one void. So that's why I like the Seeker ability for Pamela. I won't be using it a lot because this is the only battle that actually really mattered. And this, 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 this does not apply to things like nullifying status element stuff. It only applies to traits. So, if you got an enemy who's highly resistant to something, go tell him to fuck his traits and do not there. get in my way. So pretty much now we just got the same stuff we had before. And it also means that you probably want to keep on cleaning up those time cards because she will start they will start doing that. I got but you. now I don't have to worry about not doing jack shit for damage. And yes, this is still my favorite battle in the game. All right, I can go out. Even when I made it pretty much a cakewalk. Sulfur, please. Let's see what nah, you got. Nah, need some SP. I'm getting tired. Nah, and kiss everyone. Does damage? Yells everybody. And now we're just going to start going crazy. Of course, we still won't be using time cards because that still will penalize us. And luckily, it didn't knock back that I can do another purify. Because I still want to keep up with that. And that's also the reason why I'm not using Jessica in this panel. Because she, her best healing stuff is time made. Except for one of her healing spells, which is a double time spell. Come down, jiggly rain. Probably gonna switch out Pamela. Switch out Pamela. Now let's boost boxes. But he can at least still do something. I got you. It's useless. Oh yeah, yeah, do a quick switch up there. Destroy. I don't care. Switch out with Anna. So I can get some good single hit, uh, single person damage on. Momentary Not too bad I already have a full burst gauge, but that's definitely a good one to actually have. Because it's really easy to get. By this time, it's really, really easy to get criticals. Oh well. I just Ooh, I accidentally did that. Let's put some trick hit. Because it's pretty clear. Let's get this over with. And let's get some chaos of potion. Don't interfere. Let's see what you've got. I can switch. Yeah, he can take the hit. And I think that lowers resistance. Here's our chance. This is my justice. And she's dead. Well, they're dead. See? So much easier. <laughs> it was a good fight for you.
Phew. It's over. But it's too early to rest. I believe the road ahead is still long. Um... Vane, when we get back, you're gonna have to explain all this. I wanna hear about it, too. Yeah, we can't even stop to talk about it. Thank you, everyone. Let's move! Don't lag behind! Woo! But... I... Next time, the final area. See you then.